If I run away again, Cassie will never forgive me. I can't do this. I can't. But what if Vicky's back? And what if she talks to the police? I have to get that diary away from David. That's too bad because I'm here in an official capacity, Dorian. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Vicky and about Gene Randall. Questions about Vicky and Gene Randall. That's right. I'm sorry, I don't know any Gene Randall. What about Jay Randolph? You sure know her, don't you? When we traced that uh, phone call that you supposedly made from Spain, you admitted that you used an alias to register your cellular phone. Jay Randolph. Yes, okay. I made up that name on the spot. It slipped my mind. Uh, how is Vicky involved? Jean Randolph is one of her other personalities. Who told you that? Vicky? That's right. And from what I understand, you know Jean very well, don't you, Dorian? I do. Of course, you know all those personalities very well. And you have all along. What's the point, Bo? Should I call my lawyer? Really, I'm getting tired of being harassed, no charges being made. You have no right. I have every right, Dorian. Why would Vicky tell us that uh, you confessed to the murder and then retract her statement? That never made sense to me. And it does now? It might. I'm starting to think that uh, maybe it wasn't Vicky that made that retraction. Maybe it was one of the other ones. You see, we, we still have no idea how many personalities are inside of Vicky. Do you know? How should I know? Why should I know? Because you've been in it all along, Dorian. I'm willing to bet that you made a deal with Jean. And you took advantage of a very sick woman. Did Vicky tell you that? You are a fool to believe her. And how do you know that it was Vicky who was talking? Because Vicky told me that you knew about all the other personalities when you visited her in the hospital after that fire at Landfair. And you knew about them before, for all she knows. At first she was blaming Todd, now she's accusing me. Say. No, 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 please. <laughs> if Vicky says that I'm involved, it must be true. She's not responsible. I'm the one who caused her breakdown. Yes, it's all my fault. But then again, it isn't everything. If you think I'll stand still for it this time, you're wrong. Vicky will not incriminate me again. I've suffered enough at that woman's lunatic hands. Oh, really? How have you suffered at Vicky's hands lately? Well, you yourself said that she or one of her mutant personalities rebuilt the secret room in the basement of Landfair with a cage intended, no doubt, for me. So, in a sense, I am the victim here. You bear that in mind. If you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Well, I'd like to give the victim a little advice. Dorian, the statute of limitations does not run out on a murder charge. You keep that in mind every time you congratulate yourself for getting away with Victor's murder. Back. Bo doesn't know anything. He's just fishing. I could just get that damn diary from David. He could fish all he wants. He'll never catch me. Didn't that look like fun? You don't want to know what that looked like. Okay, that was just the old Balinese custom. You know. David, tell her about the tradition. Tradition? What tradition, David? Oh, uh, well, you see, in Bali, a child's feet aren't permitted to touch the ground until after their first birthday. Wait a minute. You think I'm a child? I am no child. Yeah, and we're not in Bali either, but wouldn't it be fun to be there? Oh, what do you say, a vacation baby cakes? Hey! Your birthday's coming up. That'd be a great place to be on your birthday. Are you going to be 21 again this year? Oh, my God, it's your birthday. <laughs> Is there enough time to buy you something? I mean, um, you know, I'll do anything. Oh, don't worry, I'll come up with something, dear. Meanwhile, I think I saw a bottle of champagne in the fridge, shall I get it? Yes, but you can't have any. David and I will have some. We can all watch the fireworks together. One great big happy family. Mm. Okay, cool. I'll get it. Take it 
Take your time. Don't you want to give me something special for my birthday? Maybe a diary. Is that what Mommy wants? You know it is. All right, since you put it that way. Forget it. No. No, I think you will be very happy with a nice ride through the lush Pennsylvania countryside in a brand new Mercedes that you're going to buy me tomorrow. And the Mercedes is just the beginning. You are going to reinstate all of my credit cards with a $10,000 limit. All of them? If you think I'm going to do that, what you're out of your mind. What I think is that I have a diary that will send you back to death row. What I think is that you don't have a card left to play, baby. What I think is that you are going to do what I think. You think so? That diary is 3,000 miles away, Dorian. If anything should happen to me so you think you can inherit all of my worldly possessions because you're my loving wife, well, let's just say, should I meet an untimely end, I have left very explicit instructions. That diary is going to go straight to Bo, Commissioner of Police. Now, what do you say? Hmm? What do you say? <laughs> you win. Really, I don't care where the diary is. Just promise me. But as long as you're living, it'll stay exactly where it is. Well, I was going to say cross my heart and hope to die, but neither of us want that, now do we? Here we go. Very good year, and I know my champagne. Yes, it sure is, Kelly. And did you know that in Europe, they pour champagne on their cereal, on their granola? Did you know that, baby? Oh, and since you're pouring... Yes, light of my life. I take my champagne without strychnine. Independence Day. Yeah, I wouldn't know about that. You know, I don't get it. You're the most independent woman I've ever met. You are young, aren't you? She sure is. Were you ever that young, Moo Moo? Yes. And I used to feel that young. Right up until the day I married you. Who knows, perhaps I will feel that way again someday soon. Don't hold your breath. A toast to you, my adorable wife. And to you, Kelly. My very young, but very mature for her age, very frisky niece. It's going to be a long, hot summer. It sure is. It certainly is.